Well, I, I mean, I'm here to share the results of a research study that I've been involved with with Dr. Kevin Brazil, who is here at, at Queen's University um, as a professor of palliative care. And the research came from recognition that there was a real gap in specialized knowledge around how to deliver palliative care programs to residents and their families living in care homes, uh, nursing homes. <laughs> Different jurisdictions use different terms, but the population living in care homes uh, has really changed to be extremely frail elderly people over the age of 85 with really advanced disease. Mm -hmm. And the reality is that one in five residents in, in care homes in Ontario die each year, and that's because of their advanced age and frailty. And there were not programs in place. And we wanted to develop programs for palliative care that could ensure quality of life mm -hmm. and pain uh, and symptom management and comfort and dignity right to the end of life for residents living at home in long-term care and avoiding unnecessary hospital transfers. We know that hospital transfers at the end of life are very distressing for residents and families and really most of the reasons that they get to sent to hospital are not reversible. Mm -hmm. So the, the outcome is not um, uh, continuing their life, it, it's, the outcome is just really greater distress and, and dying in an unfamiliar place where people don't know you. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we really undertook a very um, systematic, intensive, process uh, over five years with funding from the Social Science and Humanities Research Council in Canada, studying the needs of the long-term care homes, the staff, volunteers, managers, families, residents, and then going about really building a palliative care program from the ground up that took into account all the best research and best practices out there, mm -hmm. but changing it and tailoring it to specifically what long-term care homes do and where there were gaps and there were many gaps because the setting of long-term care is very different than a hospital. Uh, we had to create new tools and resources and new knowledge. Um, so we did that and the result is we, we have a framework for palliative care and long-term care that can be used um, nationally or internationally and 40 different resources, tools and innovations that can be uh, used to help implement palliative care programs.